Welcome everyone to my Uttara Jungle Cup and my first match I am up against I am Sujat and I lead with Venusaur and he leads with an um, off meta Giraffe Rig and I instantly switch to Vigoroth because my Venusaur would just die to confusions and I charge a little bit more and body slam He doesn't shield. I I am farming up his giraffe. Counters are neutral. Now it's a thunderbolt. I have to shield or it will KO my Vigoroth. As I have charged, I as I have prior charged energy, I need to use it. He comes with his Vigoroth and I body slam. He doesn't shield. I get to another body slam with just one HP remaining. He shields. It's raining outside, so I'm sorry for the bad audio quality. I wait out the switch clock and switch to my Venusaur. I can finish him off with just Vine Whips, but he switches to Noctowl. And I sludge bomb to burn his last shield. And he lets it through. I switch to my Noctowl. That sludge bomb was debatable. I could have just kept my sludge bomb. I could have kept my energy and switch back in with an instant charge move. But I used it anyways. No harm done there. I take down his Noctowl, he has Vigoroth remaining with low health. I, sh I shield here because I know I can finish that Vigoroth off with my Noctowl. With just wing attacks. He gets to another body slam. And simultaneous KO but I have Venusaur in the back, I take game number one. Game number two, I go with my core team again, Vigoroth, Noctowl and Venusaur, switching up the leads a little bit. I'm wary of his giraffe rig because I haven't faced, it's, it's really early in the month and I haven't faced giraffe rig that much. I win the lead this time. I know he's going to switch. So I'm not using any charge moves, I'm just farming up that golem. And he switches back to his Vigoroth. Now I body slam, I have a lot of charge energy. Now I know he has a rock bass charged golem in the back. So I'm saving my Venusaur and just trying to get his Vigoroth as low as possible. I shield. I thought I could get to another body slam. And I do. That's why I shield it. Even if I didn't shield, it would have been better if I didn't shield. And came with my Venusaur and farmed up that Vigoroth, that Raid HP Vigoroth. Even if he body slammed me, I would have a ton of energy left. Now I don't shield. He, he wasted his energy on his golem on my low HP Vigoroth. I can just come with my Venusaur and take out his Alolan golem. Now I know it's gonna be a Noctowl. I need to kill that Noctowl as fast as possible. I switch to my Noctowl and keep my Venusaur in the back. I have a shield. We both have equal shields at this point. I try to piggyback right there to get energy advantage. He hits me with a psychic. And yes, I could get that piggyback off. Now I have. He shielded there, he should have let his knockdown go and 
come back with his golem and charge farm my noctel that was a mistake on his part I got to another sky attack because of that piggyback my noctel is going to go down I have a shield advantage I need to worry anymore I can just finish off that golem with vine whips I have a shield left and GG I take game number one match number two versus Mujahid 05 again I go with my core he has a hair cross I keep that in mind I lose my lead and instantly switch to my Vigoroth now he switches to his hair cross I got a body slam charged I have knocked out in the back so I don't need to worry that much about that hair cross but but I have Venusaur and his Noctowl is still alive so I'm I keep that in mind he double shields his Vigoroth I'm sorry he he shields once I wait out the switch clock come back with my Noctowl now here I make a mistake and shield I shouldn't have shielded there I thought it was a close combat and close combat would have done a lot to my Noctel at this hilt but I shouldn't have shielded that if I didn't shielded that I would have energy and priority at this point I didn't shield that body slam I switched to my Venusaur I tried to switch to my Venusaur but I don't know how my sky attack got activated you guys saw that I pulled up my switch tray and tapped switch but I don't know what happened there now he switches to his Noctel I'm in a really bad position at this point really bad place by me I made two huge mistakes there now it's, it's gonna be a sky attack I make another mistake I should have let my Venusaur go I'm because sludge bomb at this health won't KO that knocked out even if I yeah I do get a sludge bomb off but it won't KO knocked out at this health and he burns his shield on my Venusaur now I come back with my knocked out I'm counting one two three four five six a seven wing attack would get to another sky attack if he had charge move priority he would get it to first so I have to wing attack I have to sky attack here to kill this knocked out now if I had just one shield if I didn't waste that shield I would have taken that this game because I would have just shielded this body slam and get to sky attack or I can I could have just finished him off with wing attacks two huge mistakes cost me the game again I'm wary of his hair cross I lead with Noctowl, Vigoroth and Venusaur I'm most comfortable with my core so I'm taking it I'm waiting I'm waiting for his hair cross lead Noctel has positive matchups against two, two, and with shields three of his Pokemon. Now he leaves with Fortress. I win. I'm really confident about this matchup. I don't. I don't need to shield, but I know. I thought that he's going to shield. Switch. I'm sorry. I thought he's going to switch, but he didn't. I get to Sky Attack first. Fortress charges really slow. He he shields there. I try to piggyback there he rock tombs me I shouldn't have shielded there I could tank a rock tomb and get to another sky attack but I did it anyways bug bites are resisted Noctowl is very bulky now I know I'm going to get to sky attack first 
Noctel charges really fast. He lets his fortress go. We are both at one shield. Now I know he's going to come back with a golem. I instantly switch to my Vigoroth. Because I know... I thought that he has Heracross in the back, so... I try to sack my Vigoroth and charge farm his golem. Because if he has Heracross, and I have both Noctowl and Venusaur in the back, I can win with shields. And he has a Noctowl in the back. I was really expecting a Heracross, but he has Noctowl. Heracross would have given me a bit of trouble. Noctowl too gives me a bit of a trouble. I charge farmed that golem a little bit, so I get to another body slam. He doesn't have any shields. I get, I get his Noctowl really low. His Skydex, I don't need to shield anything. I wouldn't have gotten to my body slam anyways. I am leading with one shields. My Noctowl is almost half charged. And I go for a sky attack. I had a shield. Clean win there. No mistakes made by me here. Mujahid's mistake was his team comp. His team comp wasn't as good as the first match. Now again I lead with Noctowl and he leads with Vigoroth. It's a matchup based on shields. I don't like it. I'm not comfortable here. I I thought he would have hair cross in the back like his first match hair cross two counter users Vigoroth and hair cross in the same game now here I switch to Venusaur I make another mistake I should have let my Venusaur live and I should have sacked my Noctowl if I had two shields Venusaur and Vigoroth it would have been a really really close game now he gets to sky attack. I decide to let my Venusaur go. This was one of my mistakes. I shouldn't have switched to Venusaur in the first place. I should have kept Venusaur in my back and just tried to burn his shields with my Noctowl in the lead. Now I come back with Vigoroth. I, I am still thinking that he has both Vigoroth and Heracross in the back with Noctowl. This was his first match, Team Comp. So I need to get rid of that Noctowl with my Vigoroth and I can kill his Heracross with my my Noctowl in the back. My Noctowl has already the Sky Attack loaded. Now here... Here I don't shield. I think I should have shielded here. Maybe not. I'm really not sure what I would have done here better. But sacking Venusaur was my biggest mistake in the first place. I shouldn't have sacked Venusaur. Because that lead, even though I lost my lead, that Vigoroth versus Noctowl matchup is shield based. No, Vigoroth doesn't hard counter Noctowl if both of them have shields. And I should have burned his shields. Now he has a body slam ready. I need to shield here for his final mon. He does bulldoze. If that was a body slam, I would have taken much damage, so I needed to shield anyways. And he has a golem. He changed his team comp and well played by him. I wasn't expecting a golem. I should have sacked my Noctowl instead of Venusaur and Vigoroth. That was a huge mistake on my part. And I lose my second match. Third match against Shaun Duel. I lead with Vigoroth. He leads with Noctowl. In this match I'm still salty about my loss versus Mujahid. I messed up there. He, he played really well but I messed up in the first place. I'm trying to piggyback here. He gets his sky attack first, I shield and I manage to pull off that piggyback. 
and get one fast move priority. I got another body slam ready. Now I shouldn't, yeah, I should have probably body slammed that Vigoroth anyways. Now I switch to my Venusaur with one shield, my Venusaur can win against his Vigoroth. I try to, again I try to piggyback here again, but he didn't use his body slam, he's over a body slam now. He's got 6-7 counters ready, that it's probably a bulldoze, yeah it's, it's, it is a bulldoze, bulldoze won't KO my Venusaur. Now I get to Frenzy Plant, now let's see if he shields or not, he doesn't shield, oh he's out of shields, my bad. I got to a second frenzy plan faster because he did bulldoze. That was a mistake on his part. He should have body, sp body slam spammed my Venusaur. And in the end, I I would have burned a shield. Now here, I don't need to shield again. Again, a mistake on his part. He sky attacks my Venusaur. But again, I could have just sludge bomb KO'd that knocked out at this health. Or almost near KO that knocked out. Now here, I don't make the mistake I made versus Mujahid. I keep, I keep my Vigoroth in the back. He has, again, he has Graveler. So if I sacked my Vigoroth here, I would have lost the same way I lost to Mujahid. I don't, I learn from a mistake and I instantly go for Bulldoze. I could have just gotten off a Body Slam and KO'd him, but I don't take any risks here. I go for Bulldoze, again, in in your Tony matches, just use Body Slam, don't Bulldoze uh, Graveler unless it's full health. Here if I had Body Slam, I would have gotten off another Body Slam to that knocked out. And almost get it to KO range, I know I I have advantage here, almost a full health knocked out, but still, don't. My tip will be that don't body slam the incoming Pokemon instantly. Like don't body slam the switch in Pokemon instantly. See it first, then see that if it's weak to body slam or not and then body slam. Like and don't go for bulldoze always. Unless you know that bulldoze unless bulldoze is your last choice to KO. Second match, I get another lead advantage versus Vigoroth, I get to body slam. He shields, I'm up a shield. I shield here because of heavy slam, uh, it's a stab heavy slam and it would, uh, it would do a decent amount of damage to my Vigoroth. Again here, don't, again versus Vigoroth and Fortress, don't use Bulldoze unless you're absolutely sure that Bulldoze is going to KO that Fortress or it's a do or die situation. Don't, don't Bulldoze in the first place, just, just body slam, spam. And in Reddits and Sims, you'd see j that Body Slam has priority over Bulldoze because it's just that good. Body Slam is just that good. Now he comes with his figure out. I Body Slam. He doesn't have a shield. We both don't have any shields. I'm confident here. He has a. His, I got his figure out. Almost to raid HP. I I switch to my Venusaur. Again, I'm confident here. Now he switches to his Graveler. Questionable decision. I I one shot him with my Frenzy Plant. Pure one shot. Now see that Venusaur was Venusaur is so good that it's it was my huge mistake to sack it. In the first match. I should have kept Venusaur and sacked my knocked out. Again, this was my first tournament. I am I'm, I'm still learning new matchups every day. 
I take game number three and game number four versus Sajid, 69. I get to knock down. Again, I'm learning matchups every day. I'm practicing more, trying to get better. This was my unweighted tournament. So, I wasn't really, I wasn't trying hard. I wasn't that trying hard, but I, even though I, t I t took meta teams, I still hadn't memorized or knew all matchups. Like in the first game uh, versus Girafferig, I ran no sims on Girafferig and, and I didn't know what to do against Girafferig. This is so early in the month. Against his Noctowl, I shield his Sky Attack. I have shield advantage. I go to Body Slam. I don't shield his second Sky Attack. I know I will be able to kill his Noctowl with Body Slam, with counters, but I had to Body Slam there because I knew that he had almost a Sky Attack charged. Questionable decision on my part too. Uh, my estimation was wrong, but still I have a shield and Venusaur in the back. Now Venusaur with one shield easily beats Vigoroth. I don't even need to shield here, and I don't shield here. I save my shield to see his final Pokemon. He gets to another body slam. I shield here. He uses body slam. And Frenzy Plant will KO at this health. Frenzy Plant does so much neutral damage. And he has a Lolan Golem in the back. I get to my frenzy plant again and one shot his golem again in my fourth match. Venusaur winning me games. Venusaur Venusaur is my MVP of my in my run. And I realized it after my cup. So when I, at this point I realized that Venusaur I shouldn't sag Venusaur and keep it. Because I know Venusaur is so good. Now here I switch to my Venusaur to, to keep my Vigoroth. Now that that body slam did basically nothing to my Venusaur. He switches to his Noctowl. I get to Sludge Bomb. I try to burn a shield. I'm ready for his Golem, his shiny Golem in the back. That's why I keep my Vigoroth safe and sack my Venusaur. So either keep Venusaur or Vigoroth. If you're unsure about the last match because nothing in this meta will hard wall Vigoroth unless it's a hair cross. Even if you have even if it's a hair cross and you have charge move if you you have move charged up and bank a lot of energy, you can win a with a Vigoroth with no pre-charged body slam can easily defeat a hair cross with no shields. So keep Venusaur or Vigoroth, don't sack any of them. You ra you can rather sack Noctowl right here. Like I switch to my Noctowl just to tank a sky attack and he doesn't get to it. He goes to his Lantern, he switched up his team, I thought his, he would have Golem but he took Lantern. Now, I'm really not in a good position here. Lantern, he has a shield. I lag a little bit, he gets to Thunderbolt. I don't shield. I know that I'm going to lose this match, that's why I don't shield. I should have shielded, I'm not sure. If I shielded, I would have gotten off to a psychic. But again, he would have just KO'd my Noctowl and instant on the boat, my Vigoroth. So, even if I shielded there, 
I don't think the outcome would be any different. Really bad play on my part. Again, sacking Venusaur was a mistake. Again, I make the same mistake and lose. He has a full health Vigoroth in the back. Almost full health. And I lose. Third match, I'm going with the same team. Just switching up my leads a little bit. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, what should I lead with? I'm, I take my time there. I take Noctal, Venusaur and Vigoroth. And lead with Venus or this time I because figure out not tell lead won't be that good and I catch his figure out this is a winning matchup with one shield I'm confident here I gets the body slam first I try to piggyback I need just one shield or two shields, yes, successful piggyback there. He shields. Now the next frenzy plan will KO that Vigoroth. And his body slam won't KO my Venusaur. Now here I instantly switch to my Vigoroth. Again, this is a positive matchup for Vigoroth with shields. I keep my Venusaur full charged. I'm making no mistake here. At this point, I made no mistake. I really should have learned from my mistake against in my second match versus Mujahid from sacking my Venusaur. I shield. His Skydex, I know I would get to a body slam faster. Here's another shield. Now he manages to piggyback there. Not sure. Yeah. He shields. Now, yeah, he got to piggyback off me there. That's why he got to sky deck faster than I got to body slam. Well played. Now I have the switch clock ready. I switch to my knockdown. Now, even if he had sky attack me, I can tank it all day. Now he comes with Golem. I instantly switch to my Venusaur and Frenzy Plant. One shot Golem. That's the power of Frenzy Plant Venusaur, guys. I really should have played Venusaur better. I have full Sky Attack charged. I could tank two Body Slams at this health. Venusaur again the MVP of my match and he body slams me and I take game number four so I go three, three and one in my first tournament I am happy with my results but I, I learned a lot I learned a lot and if you guys are asking for some tips about your upcoming jungle cup my primary tip will be don't focus too much on your Vigoroth yeah I know Vigoroth is on theoretically broken on par with Tropius and Warmadam theoretically speaking but practically if you lean too much on your Vigoroth, it will cost you the game because a, a single Vigoroth can't steamroll through a team. But you saw there that my Venusaur almost steamrolled through a whole team with pre-charged Frenzy Plant. Just one-shotting Golems, one-shotting Vigoroths, Venusaur. Venusaur was my real MVP of my tournament and I realized it after I finished my tournament. So. 
and again if you don't have Venusaur don't worry you can run you guys can run Victory Bell you can I wouldn't suggest running Ivysaur Ivysaur is I, I I don't like Ivysaur because Power Whip isn't as good as Frenzy Plant. Power Whip won't one shot a lot of things. Frenzy Plant will one shot at neutral. So Victory Bell is a good option. You can Acid Spray, Razor Leaf. It's a good strat. Hope you guys like my video and best of luck on your upcoming tournaments. This is Bhuvan Ahmed signing out.